Thank you for meeting with me. Can you say your name and talk about what you do for work? Okay. Uh, my name is Jocelyn. Um, I'm a medical assistant at OHSU on the Night Cancer Institute. My idea was mainly going to the nursing program first, but I was having my thoughts about can I, like, what is the process? Like, am I gonna be, is it something that I'm gonna like? Or am I just gonna go to the program and eventually maybe I'm not gonna like the healthcare field? So one of my coaches in PCC gave me an idea of why don't you try medical assistant first? And doing that, it will help you um, like decide if there's something that you are expired to do, helping out patients, working with uh, physicians, nurses, and if there's something, a, a good environment of you, then maybe then um, later on you can choose something else in the same place. What inspired you to pursue your career? Uh, I think what inspired me the most to be interested in the healthcare field was uh, where I'm coming from because uh, where I'm from we don't have the resources like we do here we we don't even have a clinic a hospital close by in my house and usually when my my grandpa who passed away he was the, the one who inspired me the most because having the resources close by it would be so like useful at the moment um, and I think just knowing what to do in a difficult situation you know how to respond to that to that so on um, 2018 my grandpa passed away due to um I think he was having a heart attack and because my, in Mexico, where I, um, I live, uh, we don't have the training or what to do or what steps to make to help them. So, and the closest hospital was an hour from my home and not having transportation, not knowing what to do and the hospital not being able to help him. It was something that impacted me the most because if I if we have classes in well, classes or a clinic close by, maybe my grandma will still be here. You know, this. What was your upbringing like? Um, I moved to Portland ten years ago. I'm from Oaxaca, Mexico, and I moved with my siblings and my dad and my mom just to have a better opportunity and to have um better uh, life. Moving from Oaxaca to Portland, it was something way different than expected. Uh, not knowing the language, not having someone to talk to, the lifestyle was something that, and being adapted to adapt something that I was not used to was very difficult for me. Um, but over time, just learning the language, it helped me to overcome those things in my life. Um, I remember going to high school, not, have, not knowing what to say, or I didn't understand anything at all. But I knew that I wanted to be successful and I wanted to have a, car a, a better career than my parents did. And um, just something inspired me was asking for help. My teachers were there for me, uh, who were I was um, telling me like, oh, why don't you try doing this, this or do that? That will help you to get more motivation and find something that you really like doing. How does your family inspire you? Yeah. Um, My family are very supportive. They always tell me that whatever I choose to be and what path I want to take, they will be there for me and guide me and advise me 
what is uh, what is good and you know, the steps that I should take because they by them not having the opportunity like I am having right now being in the US um, they want me to like um, take the advantage of the opportunities you know and just I was telling they was telling me like you should be taking advantage of every opportunity that you see in your life you know yeah, I think it comes from my family. We just like, even, especially my dad. He's a, he's a hard worker. He's been working since he was a kid because he lost he lost his dad when he was five years old, and he gave me that discipline of you have to work for yourself. I was focused on you, and I was try to do your best and be someone. You know, so and don't make anyone stop you for what you what you wanna become in life. And they always push me to be something better every day. And working in a medical field, it has helped me because I love helping people. I love helping them to make a change in their lives too. And going to becoming a medical student has helped me to encourage and I don't know just. I love helping people, yeah. What do you love about your job? Yeah. <laughs> no, what I love about my job is knowing that when I came here, just, I remember going, I had an appointment when I was maybe 14 years old to the hill. And I remember looking down it and telling like, one day maybe I'm gonna be here, you know? And I wanna make it happen. Like, I wanna be those people who go into the building and work there and doing patient care. And, and then just, I remember spending my time just doing my research. How can I like, what can I do to, be, to accomplish that, you know? Something that I, want, I wanted to do. And, yeah, and now I'm in those buildings that I remember once myself told me, ah, one day you're going to be there to make it happen. What were you like in high school? Um, sure, I, in high school, I had my ESL uh, teacher who I was uh, how inspired I was to be successful in life. She knew that I wanted to, I was just, I always wanted to do one more step in my life, you know? And she knew that I could do it. And she was the one who I would, would tell me, oh, just mean, don't, remember, don't, don't stop going to school. Like, keep going. Like, you will see that eventually you will be something that you wanna be. Uh, I remember she always telling me like, ideas or or thing or careers like I could pursue in my life, you know. And then in college I had my I, my coach. Well I would I was bug bug him all the time. Well, I was talking like, so what can I do? Like you think this is something I should I should learn or you think can I take can I take a step on that? And you know people who See how inspired and that will end that that you are willing to do your job, or the energy that you have. Sometimes they help you. Yeah. How would you describe your career journey? Um, it's been great. Yeah, I think becoming a medical assistant was a big step for me, and the biggest decision that I have ever made. Like because it took me to the healthcare industry to know the environment, to know if that's something I really like doing. And yeah, and I just find out like every day I was like, yeah, this is something I really wanna do and I wanna continue doing, you know? And this is something that motivates me to come every day to work, uh, to see patients, to take care of them, to give that, to use, um, provide my help to each one of them and eventually just to 
um, we go back to school and be more than that. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for students trying to decide what they want to do later in life? I know it can be um, a struggle sometimes to decide what path you want to take. But I think by doing your research, talking to an advisor all the time, it will take it will help you to 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 take the right choice of what you want to do. And sometimes it's okay to change your um, your career because it will be days that oh I want to do this, and your focus is that, and then other and by the time you were like oh you know what I really enjoy doing that, and that's okay too. But just remember why you why you start some, uh, your path. You know, never change, like never give up on challenge yourself. I guess just I always keep telling myself like, if you're already here, just what else can you do? You know, just imagine what else you can do. Like, I know, I you've been through a lot, and you're the only one who knows that. You know, you don't have to tell people like what you've been through, or, you know, but all the time, what keeps me to to stay up is that to remember that I could do it, you know, I did it and just to stay positive. Uh, it feels good. It feels great. Like, long, like maybe Two years ago, I was like, maybe no one even made it. Like, what if, what if in the middle of my journey, I just decided like, no, this is something I don't want to do, or, you know? But I'm just so grateful that my family never gave up on me, and my teachers, my anybody who thought like, yeah, you're saying you can do it, just. Take your steps. It doesn't matter if they're baby steps. Just do it, and eventually you will be someone. You know, you will end up where you wanna be. What kind of skills do you need to be successful in the work that you do? I think um, communic uh, communication is one of the biggest ones. Being able to communicate and also. Being compassion and patient, and always being positive, and um, will help you to be good at your job, and um, just always willing to learn something new, you know, to improve your skills, your abilities, and um, just to think about what what else can I do better, or what can I do better than what I'm doing right now. I think. That's something that you have to keep in mind all the time. What are some things that you wish people knew about the work that you do? I think what I would love people to know about my about becoming a medical assistant, if they're interested on in the healthcare industry, is that uh, there will be days that it's gonna be challenged for you, you know, but that's something normal. Uh, there will be days that you will feel so overwhelmed and it's okay to take a step uh, outside and just do your self-care, you know, focus on you, it, but just that idea, don't forget about the idea that you are providing your help and you are changing someone's life too, you know, in a way by just keep uh, offering your help in a way that it, you, will, you will make the patient feel more comfortable or, yeah.